ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ లో ప్రజాస్వామ్యం కూని అవుతుందని వైఎస్ఆర్ సిపి అధినేత వైఎస్ జగన్మోహన్ రెడ్డి ఆవేదన వ్యక్తం చేశారు ఢిల్లీ జంతర మంతర్లో ధర్నా చేపట్టడానికి ముందు ఆయన మీడియాతో మాట్లాడారు ఏపీలో కూటమి ప్రభుత్వం అధికారం చేపట్టింది టీడీపీ అధికారంలోకి వచ్చాక నలభై ఐదు రోజుల్లోనే ముప్పై ఐదు హత్యా రాజకీయాలు జరిగాయి వందల ఇళ్లను ధ్వంసం చేశారు ప్రభుత్వ ప్రైవేటు ఆస్తుల్ని ధ్వంసం చేశారు మా హయంలో ఏనాడు ఇలాంటి దాడులు దౌర్జన్యాలు ప్రోత్సహించలేదు అసలు రాష్ట్రంలో ప్రజాస్వామ్యం ఉందా ప్రజాస్వామ్యాన్ని కూని చేశారా లోకేష్ రెడ్ బుక్ పేరుతో హోర్డింగ్లు పెట్టారు తనకు నచ్చని వారిపై కక్ష సాధింపు చర్యలకు దిగుతున్నారు ఏపీలో రాష్టపతి పాలన విధించాలి మీడియా ప్రత్యేకించి జాతీయ మీడియా ఈ విషయాన్ని అందరి దృష్టికి తీసుకెళ్లి ప్రజాస్వామ్య పరిరక్షణకు కృషి చేయాలని జగన్ విజ్ఞప్తి చేశారు where the very word democracy means equitable just equitable justice and today in the state of andhra pradesh you have a scenario where equitable justice is denied where democracy stands limping that is the plight sir wake up that is the plight of affairs in andhra pradesh you have a government in place where within 45 days of coming into power you have a situation where more than 30 people have been murdered where you have more than 300 people on whom you have assaults taken place which led to attempt of murder where you have more than 560 properties private properties vandalized where you have more than 490 government properties also vandalized where you also have more than 1000 cases more than 1000 cases where you have a situation of assaults taking place private properties destroyed people walking into the houses destroying the properties within where plantations have been destroyed that is the plight of affairs in andhra pradesh in fact you have people like chandra babu naidu's son nara lokesh displaying a red book where he displaying a red book is actually captured in the form of hoardings and displayed all over the state and the contents in, and the contents in this red book are a list of officials a list of politicians on whom they intend to take action on whom they intend to assault and this kind of hoardings starting off with chandra babu naidu's son blatantly being displayed all over the state in andhra pradesh where you have a situation where you are in where you are giving instructions to the police that our people would vandalize our people would kill our people would assault and there should be no action taken on them when you have somebody like nara lokesh chandra babu naidu's sons holding this red book and this red book being captured in the form of hoardings now think about what kind of message it is sending now he starts off with a red book at the state level you have a similar kind of red books being displayed and vengeance being taken at everybody from the grassroots level at the village level now this is the plight of affairs now i'd like to question one thing Today they are in power, tomorrow we could come into power. 
yesterday we were in power but when we were in power we have never propagated such kind of behavior we have never encouraged people to take vengeance like this we have never encouraged assaults we have never encouraged private property being vandalized we have never encouraged government property to be vandalized we have never encouraged killings but today the situation is now if we don't question this being part of democracy then can you imagine the plight of democracy going forward if this were to be encouraged i urge the entire media the national media especially i also urge various parties who actually constitute democracy to have a look at these photographs what are displayed to have a look at the video clippings which are being displayed have a look at them and then ask yourself is this what we want from democracy you have various photograph right people are being hacked to death where you have photo displayed where you would find a corporator running for his life stabbed multiple times where you would have various photographs and video clippings displayed an mp a member of parliament touring his own constituency visits a house of another mp who is also stationed in the same constituency his house being